So, last year, I posted this Looks Maxim video, which blew up like crazy to over 40 million views. And a lot of you guys were asking the same thing, when is a full guide coming out? Since it's the start of a new year, a lot of guys are seeking to develop themselves in every aspect. The reason why I feel my video in particular blew up so much was because I wasn't the typical you know, influencer who already had a good starting base and just added a little bit of muscle. You see, the video showed my efforts to developing myself in every metric from a level zero starting point. From the physical aspects, like the lean aesthetic physique, the teeth and the self-care transformation, better haircuts and style choices, even some fashion changes too. And I'm not saying that I'm perfect or anything like that, but I definitely feel that I've developed in a lot of different you know, aspects and physical aspects. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can develop too. The key points that I'll be covering are the physique, style, self-care, fashion, and some extra tips. Number one, the physique. So in terms of the physique, you want to aim for an aesthetic physique in all departments. And this is literally just categorized by like a low body fat percentage and a lean muscular look. And I think it's really good to be within that middle ground section where you're, you know, not too shredded, where you have a really low body fat percentage and it's looking a bit sort of crazy and you're not on the opposite side of the spectrum where you know you're just massive and bulked up and you can't really see any definition so i think that middle ground where you're around maybe 12 to 14 or 15 percent body fat and you've just got muscles for sure but you've got that lean aesthetic look too i think that's a perfect aim for your looks waxing journey the main points that really build up an aesthetic physique would be the shoulders and then the chest arms abs and lats but of course train each muscle group equally because you don't want disproportions as that can look quite unesthetic and quite unattractive as a result and i've actually gone into a lot of detail before in a previous video of how to build an aesthetic physique so i'll leave that at the end of this one but in short you want to make sure that you're progressively overloading and training hard having a high protein diet and if you're overweight go on a cut but if you're underweight go on a lean bulk but the physique is so crucial is it actually boosts not just your physical appearance but actually helps with you know building up confidence within yourself as well so it's an amazing place to start number two the style now with stylings and haircuts i've literally been through a lot you know afros and short hair even high tops and now dreadlocks literally every single haircut you could possibly imagine i've had it now for sure i've had some questionable trims over the year but I don't regret any of that at all because it's sort of what you need to do. You need to try out a lot of different styles and haircuts until you find the one which matches you like perfectly. So honestly, just try something new. And for now, I have short dreadlocks with a medium skin fade on the side. So pretty simple to be honest. But what if you're a little bit more cautious and you actually want a haircut which will definitely look good on you. How do you find that sort of haircut? Now, I have to confess, I found a little bit of a cheat code for this. And when I was younger and was watching the Premier League, I used to see Wilfred Zaha playing for Crystal Palace and I saw his hair and thought it was just looked sick and thought it looked really cool. And obviously, as he had dreadlocks or afro hair, which is similar to mine, I thought that, you know, I could just add my own twist to it and just make it a little bit more personal to me. So I think that's a really good method for finding haircuts, which might look good on you is just looking around. And this could be at, you know, celebrities or at footballers is that often very well dressed and very well you know presented so finding someone with a similar build to you or with a similar you know physique or face or anything like that and not just completely copy their haircut but to obviously just take some inspiration and then add your own little twist to it number three self-care so the number one on the self-care list has got to be teeth because when you meet someone for the first time the first thing that you'll ever notice will be the teeth so having straight, clean and good looking teeth can help massively. Growing up, my teeth were always crooked and discolored and this definitely takes a toll and has a hit on your confidence. As in photos, I never opened my mouth and never like smiled properly. It just felt super embarrassing to be honest. Whereas now, I'm always happy to have my teeth out in photos and I always feel a lot more confident whenever my photo is getting taken. Now in terms of fixing my teeth, I did it the old fashioned way so I had braces on and this took me around a year or a year and a half but if you don't want to go through that whole process of having the metal so visible on your teeth there are a few companies that actually do like invisible braces I think there's one called Invisalign which is basically just like retainers that you put in and it straightens your teeth and you can't even see that you have the braces on 
Obviously, it's a little bit more money, but if you have the spare cash, it could be a really good investment. For other aspects of self-care, obviously smell is very important too. So you just need to find yourself a deodorant for daily use and then an aftershave. And you want to find one that matches your style, matches, you know, your natural body odor and your natural smell too. For hygiene, these are just some basic essentials. However, you should definitely be brushing your teeth twice a day. Having clean nails and showering daily are all very key aspects. Number four, fashion. Now, the thing with me, which really helped to transform my fashion, I guess, and my style would be just a mindset shift. As I used to be sort of afraid to dress like smart and to dress like better, as I always used to roll around in like tracksuit bottoms and tracksuits the whole time. And there's definitely nothing wrong with tracksuits, but dressing smarter can actually help in a lot of different ways because you could just be popping to town, for example. And even if you're at a cafe and you get into a conversation with someone, who knows, they could be, you know, a future business partner or they could be, you know, a potential really good connection. Obviously, you don't need to be in a suit and a tie like 24 seven, but, you know, just dressing a little bit smarter and having like well fitted clothing and things like that can really help to maximize your opportunities. And as well, when you're actually dressing good and looking good, you generally feel like a lot better and a lot more confident. So it can literally be a cheat code for my style now. I just like to keep it simple, to be honest. I don't like lots of huge brands or loads of big colorful clothing. Literally, just basic colors with well-made clothing can actually look really good, but you'll need to find out your own unique style. So this could be an edgy or office type of style, or just a simple style like myself, or even more of a skateboarding or casual one, which actually still looks fairly smart. A nice watch or bit of jewelry can add that finishing touch too. Aside from the actual clothes and type of clothes, the way that it's fitted can actually have a huge impact on how it looks. So having shirts that are fairly tight around your arms, but not too tight, can actually be really good for, you know, emphasizing your physique and also for looking like sharp and good too. And finally, the extra tips. Now for skin, you're probably thinking that I'm going to give you, you know, some sort of skincare routine, but hear me out. I don't actually use any like skincare products. The reasoning behind this is because my diet is extremely clean and I also drink like a lot of water and just prioritize my health a lot. And I find that if I have a lot of processed food or a lot of like added sugars and things like that, that's where my skin starts to flare up. So before having some crazy like skincare routine, I'd recommend, you know, dialing in on everything else first. So the nutrition, the sleep, and just cutting out or minimizing junk foods and processed foods too. But of course, I'd still wash my face every single day. Now you can use creams, but honestly, I'd use it as a last resort because to me, I just don't wanna be putting on a load of chemicals on my face like every single day, unless I have to. But yeah, if you have acne still, or if you have a lot of skin problems and your diet's okay, then for sure, use cream. Get some vitamin D too, and try and get some sunlight as this can actually help to make you look less pasty and less pale. So that's literally it. That's a complete guide on how to look max, so to speak. And if you want to see the full aesthetics guide on how to build an aesthetic physique that I was talking about earlier, you can click this video right here. And yeah, I'll catch you next time.